Hi there. Welcome to Tax Watch. Uh, I'm John Winkler, past president of the Concerned Taxpayers of Duval County, uh, filling in for um, Tony Bates, who is um, the usual host of this show. And unfortunately, Tony is in the hospital right now, and uh, we certainly would encourage your thoughts and prayers for Tony, although he called me last night and made sure that he went over what he wanted to have on this show. So. Uh, he's still doing pretty well for, for a guy that uh, uh, seems determined to wind up in the hospital every couple of years. Um, I'm here with Dave Smith, who is uh, seated to my left. Uh, he's current vice president of the Concerned Taxpayers of Duval County. Uh, and to my right is Curtis Lee, who is a retired uh, attorney. Uh, was that a New York attorney? Is that right? New York State, yes. New York State. Um, and as I say, this is Tax Watch. Um, the concerned taxpayers of Duval County, I would like to remind everybody, meet once a month on the second Tuesday of the month at 6 p.m., uh, alternating between a uh, location on the west side and um, uh, on the east side of the city. Uh, to get the exact location, to confirm the time, uh, I would encourage you to go to our website, that's www.jackstaxpayers.org. Uh, you can check that out there. We also have all the other assorted um, meetup and Facebook and all that kind of stuff that some of us sort of get into. Um, and what we are is a nonpartisan or almost anti-partisan uh, group. We have at least uh, four different political parties represented among our members, as well as independents and no-party type people. Uh, our concern is to protect the uh, local public interests, principally through fighting uh, waste, fraud and abuse, nepotism uh, on a local level, but in more general ways to try to um, encourage public democracy as versus um, special interest operations. Um, before we get into the main part of our program, which um, um, is what Mr. Lee is here about, I'd like to mention that at our last meeting, we passed three resolutions, which I think we should note here. Um, first of all, there has been a movement afoot lately. The mayor has proposed that the uh, school board and possibly also the sheriff of Duval County go from being elected positions to appointed positions. Now, I guess not coincidentally, probably the mayor being the person making those appointments. <laughs> um, and we adopted a resolution which we um, have presented to um, city council, I presume, um, basically in favor of the continued election of uh, city council, the school board, the sheriff, clerk of court, property appraiser, tax collector, and other offices as necessary. Uh, we also had a resolution that we adopted um, regarding an ethics code. Uh, when we had originally set up the combined government of Duval County as a consolidated government, we had an um, ethics code in the charter starting back in 1968. For some reason, that was removed in 1972, and since that time, we have not had an actual ethics code. We, of course have ethical laws. There are statutes in the state of Florida that regard um, the ethics of public officials. Um, but there has been a movement afoot to actually incorporate uh, some of these items and some other more detailed and local items into an actual ethics code in the municipal code of the city of Jacksonville. And we have adopted a resolution supporting that as well. Um, the th last resolution that we adopted um, which I will just go over very briefly, uh, which I drafted, uh, was in support of um, the current system of foreclosures in the state of Florida. We are um, presently have what is called a judicial foreclosure system, which means that um, in order to be thrown out of your house, uh, the person that is holding your mortgage has to go into the courts, prove that they actually own your mortgage, uh, establish that they have the right to foreclose your property, and then there has to be a judicial sale uh, after there is uh, judicial oversight of the whole process. The Florida Bankers Association now has a bill in front of the state legislature 
called the Florida Consumer Protection and Homeowner Credit Rehabilitation Act, which would create a system of non-judicial foreclosures, which would eliminate um, largely the role of the courts in um, protecting the citizens uh, in, the par in the process of a foreclosure. Um, we believe, I obviously believe, that the Supreme Court of the state of Florida is doing more than adequate job to uh, work through the foreclosure mess and protect the interests of the citizens. The concerned taxpayers uh, joined with me in adopting this resolution and will be presenting this to the legislature. I would urge anybody who is concerned about this to get in touch with your local Florida House of Representative or, or uh, Senator as well. Uh, now, Mr. Lee, um, we invited you here because um, you, um, last week, um, uh, had given a presentation to the Charter Revision Commission regarding uh, the pension mess here in, in Jacksonville. Yes. Um, I guess, first of all, I mentioned that the Charter Revision Commission is a group of people who meet um, on an extended basis once every 10 years uh, in order to make proposals as to um, possible changes to the city's underlying uh, system of governance and the things that the city um, operates under. <clears throat> now, the commission is working right now toward making its presentations to the city council and, and its proposals for legislative action. Um, so where, where did you get involved in this process? I had, um, it goes back to October when I saw a Times Union article about the um, the large pension deficit in the in Jacksonville, and I got concerned, so I started looking into um, public records. And um, excuse me, I'm fighting a cold here. So, at any rate, um, I started getting a lot of information, and I discovered that the problem was even worse uh, than ha the Times Union had reported. And so I. After having done some homework, uh, I went to some city council and charter revision commission meetings uh, to make three-minute speeches on the topic. Uh, unfortunately, it's hard to say much in three minutes. And so I had suggested um, to the charter revision commission that they um, invite me to speak more formally. And uh, I was invited to meet more, to speak more formally. And so I spoke on February 11th. And what I did was prepared a, um, a document which ended up being fairly comprehensive. It's nine pages in length. Um, I was only allotted 10 minutes at the meeting, so I really had to uh, summarize this document. I wasn't able to, sp to say everything in it. Uh, but I did submit the document formally to the commission. And um, so basically, the reason I got involved was because I had wanted to get involved. Nobody had sought me out. Well, what, what is your background um, that would qualify you to make suggestions or proposals to the Charter Revision Commission or anybody else? For that right. Well, I am a retired attorney. Um, I used to work in New York State. Uh, I have probably around 20 years of experience um, in the pension area and um, in all sorts of things, such as uh, drafting documents, um, and uh, administering plans on the investment side as well. Uh, an awful lot of reading, an awful lot of research. Um, so I, in terms, of I have a deeper, longer experience in um, pension plans than most people do. And they're, they tend to be very arcane. Uh, the broad terms of them are not necessarily that hard, but the, the details um, <laughs> tend to, uh, cause people's eyes to glaze over. But uh, uh, so uh, in terms of experience, there's probably only maybe 10 or 20 people in Duval County who, who might have a similar level of experience as I do. And unfortunately, most of those people are probably either working for uh, uh, management or labor or some group um, and are not free to speak um, Independently, I'm totally independent because uh, nobody is employing me. I'm not getting paid, and um, I'm not getting a public pension, so I can speak my mind. Now you don't have a horse in the race. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have no financial interest in the outcome other than that of the general interest of a of a taxpayer that um, 
I 